and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We are back. And this time a little something from Inakin. And when I say little something, I mean little. This is the Cool Fire Ace. It's also called the Cool Fire Mini, depending on where in the world you live. And it's from Inakin and it fits in the palm of your hand. A little bit of slipstream action on there for the tank. And yeah, built-in battery, tiny little handheld fister, you know, cute little little mod. Beginner setup. Totally beginner, totally simple, totally Anakin. We're going to break it down. Thanks, Anakin, for sending me this product for free for the purpose of this review. And review I do. Oh, yeah. Let's take a closer look. They also include two of the Slipstream Canthal bottom vertical coil 0.8 ohm atomizer heads for variable wattage. That's what these are. 20 to 35 watts, 0.8 ohms. And you can see it's a vertical coil and the air goes down from the sides from the top and then co comes underneath the coil and comes up the middle. Here's the base of the coil. So that's it. Real simple Canthal power and a real simple little compact device. Now when I say compact, I'm going to give you a little visual. So here's the slipstream tank. We're going to go into that in a minute. So let's take this out of here. So there's the Cool Fire Ace. Really nice black brushed finish. Sorry about the light reflection, but I need to get good light here to show you everything. Here you have your gold-plated spring-loaded contact pin. Now the battery capacity has a built-in 1300 milliamp hour battery and it has a wattage range from 6 to 40 watts. The voltage range is from 3 to 7.5 volts and it fires down to 0.2 ohms as a minimum resistance. It does have the 1 amp micro USB fast charge which is right here and that guy doesn't look very happy, does he? It's like, what? 1 amp fast charge? What? Yeah, yes, one amp fast charge. Anyway, enough playing. LED battery life indicator. It also has vape while charging, low voltage warning, short circuit protection, over discharge protection, and has a maximum output current of 12 amps. Size. There's that little fella. And here's a standard Cool Fire 4 TC100. It's a baby. So very, very small. The, the Slipstream is a 20 millimeter diameter tank, two, two milliliter e-liquid capacity. It is 510 threaded on the bottom, which you can see here. It does have a top fill design. It also has a glass tank, leak resistant cup design, top air, top adjustable triple airflow slots, which you can see right here. One slot, two slots, three slots, and they are adjustable. Lock turn to turn. It's compatible with Inakin Slipstream Atomizer heads, and um, it is fully detachable and washable. All right. I don't believe the glass is replaceable, but it does have a standard 510 drip tip that you can take off, and you can see the finish there. And it's really easy to fill this thing. You just sort of push. It has this child lock, right? Because you have this lock turn to turn, so you just push down and turn, and it unscrews and out comes your coil. So to fill it, you would just have this out. There's a fill line right here on the side. Fill it up to that dot, just like that. And then you would just put your coil back in, screw it back down, and you're ready to vape. I wish it was like the newer types where you could actually um, 
top fill. There's some new cup design uh, tanks. I think Joytech has one where you can actually still top fill even though you have this cup design. This this part and the other part is two separate pieces. So, but this little uh, this little child proof is kind of ingenious. I mean, if you just try to spin it normally, it doesn't open. But like a medicine bottle, you just put pressure down, spin, and then it opens up. All right, so what I like to do before I fill my tank is I like to screw the atomizer head off, which is just grab it and screw counterclockwise. And I like to just squeeze a little bit of e-liquid right into the opening. I don't care. Put this tight and it doesn't open up very much at the bottom. I'm just going to get it started. So I squeeze some in there. I'll let it just sort of soak down in. Screw this back in until it's snug. Fill it up to the fill line. Do not go higher than that fill line, trust me. Grab your top piece here with your coil. Submerge it into the e-liquid. Push down. Screw clockwise. Tighten her up, drip tip on, adjust your airflow to your liking, and then I like to close it off, give it a couple primer pulls. Make sure you get the, the, the wicking material nice and moist and saturated, give it a couple minutes. And then we're gonna turn on this device. So right now it's off. So to turn it on, you just one, two, three, and you'll see the Inokin display. There's also a little indicator bar uh, or indicator light when you fire. See that green? So it goes into three different modes. It's green, yellow, and red, depending on how much charge you have. In your user manual, it'll tell you exactly what the, what the colors mean. And Anakins are a little different. So uh, you see on your screen, you have your wattage of your battery life indicator. You also have your resistance, your voltage, and uh, you also have the firing timer, all right? So 40 watts is maximum. Press and hold the down button until it starts flashing, and then push, and you can see, you can adjust in 0.5 watt increments. If you hold it down, it goes rather quick and it stops at 40. If you keep going, it round robins back to the bottom. Okay. Now, if you hold down the plus and the minus button, you can see your puff counter. You can also flip your screen if you continue holding. Okay. So say I want to have it this way. Just hold the plus and the minus button together, and then you can get that. All right. When you're in wattage mode, if you press fire and down, it'll switch to voltage mode. When you're in voltage mode, to go back to wattage, you press fire and plus, and there you go, you go back to wattage mode. I stay in wattage mode, that's what I prefer. But really simple interface, nothing really crazy or hard to, to use. I do like the button. So the firing button up here is beautiful, and uh, you can actually press it up top here or down here because it sort of uh, follows the contour around here. I love that. So, you know, you can sort of just get in there and thumb fire away, or you can finger roll or finger push or punch or whatever the hell you do, you can do it, all right? So there you have it, the, the tiny little pocket rocket. No temp control, no complex menu system, up and down wattage or voltage, and uh, you know, you just plug it into the wall. Really nice starter kit, and let's uh, see how it vapes, all right? So let's zoom back out. So there you go. Typical Anakin quality and one little uh, one little change that I'm quite pleased with. This little fire button, well first of all, not a rattle on this thing. It's built super tough. It might be small but it feels super solid. Awesome firing button. I love the way that it's sort of rounded at the top here and you could press it at any position. Uh, super bright OLED screen, easy to read, easy to operate, and it's simple. We don't always need complexity. A good vape does not need complexity. It just needs to work, okay? Now, adjustable airflow, really, really simple. It doesn't have a ton of adjustment, okay? The Slipstream has good flavor. I'm just not the biggest fan of this, you know, unscrew the top and have the entire coil come out of the liquid. It kind of gets messy and it drips and stuff. And I think there's better design designs they can use to still have this sort of cup design but without having to unscrew the coil head from the system, all right? That's really the only con I have with it. It performs well, It's you can fill it, 
but you have to take the coil out to fill it, all right? Now, in terms of the uh, little, little baby cool fire, I have this little TVC edition of the cool fire here, and I know in the up close it was kind of hard to see the, uh, the size difference, but man, look at this, like, I mean, it's a huge difference. It's really a huge difference. That's with the tank on, you know what I mean? Having an internal 1300 milliamp hour battery is not gonna give you the most battery life, but I've been chain vaping this and the battery is still almost full. So I think it's a pretty efficient setup that they have here. And we're not talking about huge, crazy wattages. And it doesn't have all these different coil heads that people have to understand. This coil, this mod, and you're off to the races and you're vaping. And I find that sometimes, you know, uh, milliamp hours can be a little bit deceiving because people think, oh, well, it's only 1300 milliamp hours, it's not gonna last that long. Yeah, it's not that much, it really isn't. But you can't have a big milliamp hour, big size battery inside and have it be this small, all right? Also, you're not vaping at 100 watts, you're vaping at 35 watts, all right? That's the max power for the coil head that's in here, the 0.8 ohm coil head. So let's see how it vapes. Let's open up the airflow the way that I like it. So we're gonna open it up all the way. You know what, let's fill this up all the way. I mean, filling it on the go is not too hard. Just sort of wipe off the coil in the tank. Grab some of your liquid. Keep an eye on the little dot. The dot's right at the top of the window, so once you see the juice go all the way up to the window top, stop. Not a big mess, but you know, if you don't have a, a paper towel with you or something, you get a little juice on you, not a big deal. Screw it on. And open your airflow, 35 watts, and let's take it for a vape. I wish when I quit smoking that there were starter kits like this, okay? It would be a real treat to vape something like this when I quit smoking. The draw is sort of uh, a restricted lung hit. Really good flavor, and if you hold it long enough and you vape it, it seems to keep up with the juice flow, and I'm vaping Max VG. You know, it gets a little warm even. So it's flavorful, a little bit of warm, and decent clouds from this thing. Now, for me personally, would this be something I would vape all day? No way. But that doesn't mean it's not perfect for who it's intended for. The way I vape would turn off probably 99% of all smokers out there. It's too much vapor, it's too warm, and it's not enough mimicking smoking. This thing is a little bit closer. It's a nice bridge between like the T18 style real tight draw and a loose draw. It's sort of middle of the road. Okay, it's a little bit sub ohm, but it's not too much. It's a little bit warm, but it's not too much. And you can throttle the, the uh, wattage to sort of offset the temperature depending on what you prefer. Compact, well-built, simple, affordable, Inakin Cool Fire Ace or Mini. And there you have it. That's my opinion. I think it's really nice. Great starter kit. If you have somebody that smokes or you like simple, small, dainty little devices, this might be something for you. I'll have links below if you're interested in picking it up. You can also uh, like my video. Likes help. They help spread the word. Share my video. You can also subscribe to the Vapor Chronicles if you like my content. And when you subscribe, you get emails telling you that I've released a new video. You can also find me each and every Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on the Vape Team channel on YouTube. Mike Vapes, Vaping Fagan, and myself, we do it live every single week, 94 episodes this week. And uh, yeah, join us for some cloudy entertainment. It's a lot of fun. You can also find me every Monday night with Fresh 03 from the Fresh 03 channel on YouTube. We do DIY, do-it-yourself e-liquid mixing. My personal journey from an amateur, learning from the master, and uh, join me, you can do some mixing yourself, learn how to save money, be creative, and have a good time. Monday nights, 8 p.m., the Vapor Chronicles channel right here. You can also find me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I have a private Facebook group with Mike Vapes and Vape and Fagan for the vape team. You can also join another private group for DIY called Fresh From The Kitchen. All the links below, 
Lots of fun to be had and lots more right here on the Vapor Chronicles. Have a good one.